Thank you very much, Teresa. Now, from climbing the corporate ladder to climbing the music charts, Paula Boggs is a general counsel for Starbucks and a former Army paratrooper who is now following what she calls her true north. And she is the front woman for the Seattle brewed Soul Grass Paula Boggs Band. Paula, welcome here to CT Style. I'm so happy to be here, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Paula. I have to say, I think you have CT style with, with those spectacles. I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> well, thank you. I did it just for you. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Paula. Now, now, talk to us a little bit about what True North is. You, you've uh, established so much in your career, and now you've transitioned into music. What is True North? Well, you know, I think, Ryan, like a lot of people, as a kid, I had a number of passions, and one deep one for me was music. Like a lot of people, too, as I got older and, in my case, climbed the career ladder, I put music in a box and pretty much had taken the, you know, sort of the position that was then, this is now. And it was, it was only as I moved through uh, my 40s that I, I rediscovered it and... It, it wasn't an, you know, an all, all, of, all of a sudden thing. It really was a drip by drip thing that like a faucet as I turned it clockwise uh, became more consuming for me uh, to the point that for me at least, I decided I had done everything I wanted to do in law and corporate America full-time, uh, and left uh, Starbucks in 2012 to uh, pursue this passion uh, for music. And so most of my time now is spent doing music-related things. <laughs> now, Paula, wh what advice do you have for people, maybe not uh, wanting to get into music, but who might be stuck in a, in a job where they feel like they're not getting anywhere, or who just kind of want to change things up in life? I think you have a very inspiring story. So what advice do you have for people who want to make that change and find their true north, as, as you call it? Well, Ryan, you know, it's a, it's a great question. I was with uh, students at uh, University of California at Berkeley only a few days ago meeting with them. And, you know, what I, I told them is, you know, I get it that you have student loans and I, I get it that you're ambitious, and those are really great things, mm -hmm. but I suspect that's not all you are. And like me, you probably have passions uh, that uh, you've put aside. My, my advice is do what you gotta do in life and career, but don't abandon those things that make you a whole human. And there are, are a variety of ways you can stay engaged. I actually kick myself a bit for not being more true to that in my my 20s and, and 30s. Mm. But, you know, whether it's hiking or card games or, in my case, playing a guitar and writing songs mm. and being in a band, um, there is a complexity to all of us that makes us whole and we're less human when we ignore parts of who we are. Paula, uh, real quick, I, I, I see some similarities between you and Bernie Williams, former center fielder for the New York Yankees. A lot of people know that he sort of uh, quit his baseball career to follow his passion in music. Uh, very quickly, have you had a chance to meet him or interact at all? Yes, I was so thrilled. I got to meet Bernie Williams about seven or eight months ago. Uh, we've both been uh, very involved in this uh, presidential program called Turnaround Arts, and it focuses on some of our least performing uh, public elementary schools in the United States. and matches 
uh, a personality like Bernie uh, to one of these low performing schools. And what what we have found, uh, not surprisingly, is that when people like Bernie Williams mentor a school like that over a period of time, uh, test scores improve, attendance improves, That's and great. student self-esteem. So yes, he's doing great work. Excellent. Paula, thank you again for, for everything that you're doing for the community now and you're able to, to pay it forward in, in that sense. And of course, your new album is out. So Paula, thank you again for joining us here on CT Style. And I have to step up my glasses game and, and get something like you. <laughs> So, so thank you so again. Much,